Okay, so now we're back at home and we are, I'm on my main computer, which is, uh, I think I mentioned the text is a Mac Pro. Um, it has a bunch of hard drives attached, um, but my main image folders reside on the internal RAID drive within the, uh, the Mac Pro itself. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to import the images from my Roger and Pat trip into my main catalogue, into the full catalogue I've got here. So, so it's just going to come straight in onto this full catalogue um, and it will sync in with the full catalogue. All the edits that I've done in the field, the keywording, the star ratings, all that kind of stuff will come with me, come with it, um, so I don't have to redo the work that I've done in the field. All right, so to do that, it's very straightforward. Um, here I am, like classic, um, and all I need to do is go file, import from another catalogue. Um, and once I get in here, it's actually gone there already, but once I get in here, I'd navigate to my um, hard drive where I've got the uh, images and the Lightroom catalogue for my trip. Lightroom catalogues, uh, Roger and Pup, there it is. There's the catalogue there. Click on that, choose that, um, and it will come up with a dialogue box. And here at the moment, there's only one, one set of images in it. It's obviously if there are multiple images, it would ask which ones I want to, it's got which ones I want to import. Um, it typically would be all of them. Um, here's previews of the images. Um, and here I have, it's saying these are all new photos. It hasn't, it hasn't got them currently in the drive. And I can choose what I do, whether I add new photos to catalog without moving, whether I copy new photos to your location import, or I don't import new photos. And it also asks me, asks me where I want to store them. And obviously um, I've already created a mirrored structure on my um, external hard drive of 2020. So all I need to do is basically select the 2020 file again. Um, obviously all are checked, click import. Um, and once I click import, it will then bring all those images in and I'll have all of my images again residing in one folder and that allows me to then search. Remember, when I set the import dialog up, I set it up to keyword Roger Ampak 2020. So that will mean that if I want to find them easily, I can just use Lightroom's own search functions to find the keyword Roger Ampak 2020 and everything will come in. All right, so if I click import, it will take a while for it to do, so I'll carry on and go away. Um, and um, it'll, but it'll basically import my images and my catalog onto my main hard drive. And then all I've got to remember to do is then to back up. And we see with my main computer, I have several RAID drives that back up. I can test them to back up again. I use ChronoSync similar to um, I do on my portable and um, on my laptop. And it will just literally just sync the entire contents of the drives onto my backup drives. And then I'm set up ready to go. All right, it's so as simple as that. That's one way to make sure that you've got all your images in one place and you can browse them with one catalogue.